With the latest update of Formulator, we've added a super lead generation feature to the quizzes module, making the best form builder plugin for WordPress even better. Considering the high user engagement, personalized feedback, and added fun factor, quizzes can be a much more powerful way to generate leads than the standard contact form. With this awesome update to quizzes, you can now collect participants' details, such as their name and email address, for future marketing campaigns. So let's walk through how we can quickly create a lead generating quiz. First, we start creating a quiz by giving it a name and also choosing the type of quiz we want. For this example, we're going to create a knowledge quiz, but the settings are similar for both. We can now see the option to collect leads on this quiz, so we will switch to toggle over. Here we get a handy info box to let us know that Forminator will automatically create a default lead generation form module, as well as this quiz module. Both modules are editable and share some settings, which we will see in a few moments. Click Create to be taken to the quiz editor. The intro and questions tabs are the same as before, so we're going to jump straight to the leads tab. But if you want to find out how to create a quiz from the start, check out the Forminator documentation. The leads tab offers settings based around capturing leads. The main element here is the lead generation form, and we will click on the edit button to open up the form editor in a new tab. This is the form module with a couple of differences. The main one you can see is that the email notifications and integrations tabs are both locked. These are shared settings between the quiz and form modules and are configured back in the quiz editor, which we will come to later. For this example, and in most cases, the default fields option will be fine, but you can add any other fields that you require. That is also the same for appearance, which has a default setting applied so that the form instantly looks great inside a quiz. In behavior, we get an info box to tell us that some original form behaviors do not apply with a lead generation form. Here, we will add some extra security to our form with honeypot protection. The settings tab gives you a couple of data and privacy options to choose from, but for this example, we will leave them as they are. Now you can see that this form is already published and that is because it's automatically connected to the quiz module when it is created. So to save your changes, just hit the update button. Now we will move back to the leads tab in the quiz module. The form placement settings under the leads tab gives you the option to show your form either at the start of the quiz or just before the visitor gets the results at the end of the quiz. We want this form to show at the start, so we will leave it as it is. The skip setting allows you to add a skip option below the form so visitors can opt out from completing the form but still be able to complete the quiz. For this campaign, we will add a skip option. Appearance and behavior can be configured as before in quizzes, so we will move directly to email notifications. We have now updated the quiz email notifications section, so it covers both the quiz and form module settings. Advanced features like email routing, conditional emails, and the ability to add as many emails as you need are now supported. With lead generation quizzes, you can also add both quiz and form data to the email notifications body using the form data drop-down list. If you have any third-party apps integrated with Forminator, you can connect them to this module here and they will start collecting the form submission data. We can now publish the quiz and start getting submissions. To view the leads data for this quiz, all we have to do is navigate to the quiz submissions. Here we can see the participants details, quiz answers and the status of any third-party integrations. Creating a lead generating quiz is really quick and easy with Forminator, so give it a try on your WordPress site now. 